In this Python NiceGUI tutorial, we will make a web application with a linear progress element. As values are entered into the input, radio, and select objects, the slider and linear progress object increases. When the button is pressed, the entered data is displayed in the label object. In the video I will show step by step how to do the application. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, I will create an input object. I am creating a variable. I am sending a suitable text to the input function. I save the code file and run it. You can go to this address using any browser. I added the input element for name to the web page. I will create an input element for the surname. I create the variable and input function. I am saving the code file. I added the input object for surname to the web page. I will create a radio button for gender. I am creating a variable. I'm sending a list to the radio function. There are female and male members in the list. I am saving the code file. I added the radio button object to the web page. I will create a select object for country selection. I create the variable. I am sending the country list to the select function. I am saving the code file. I added the select object to the web page. I will add a button object. I am creating a variable. I will add an icon to the button. I can access the icon code using this website. I use this code in icon parameter. I set the button color as green. I am saving the code file. I added the button to the website. I will create a slider element. I am creating a variable. I send minute, max, step and value values to the slider function. I am creating a slider element with four parts between 0 and 1. I am saving the code file. I added the slider element to the web page. I will create a linear progress object. I am creating a variable. I bind the slider object with linear progress. I am saving the code file. I created two objects synchronized with each other. I want a function to be called when the name, surname, gender, and country objects are changed. I can do this using the onChange feature. I am defining a function. I will use the onChange feature on other objects as well. I can copy and paste. I define the same function for all objects. I define the function. If the name value is not empty and the slider value is less than 0.25, I increase the slider value by 0.25 units. I am saving the code file. When the name value is entered, the slider and linear progress object is increased by 0.25 units. I make the same if definition for the surname input object. If the slider value is less than or equal to 0.25, it will be increment. I am saving the code file. When values are entered into the name and surname input objects, the slider and linear progress objects increase by 0.25 units respectively. I also define if for gender.
I set the value to 0 0.50. I am saving the code file. But there is a problem. The radio object is not empty and must be set to none. I am saving the code file. It works as I want. Finally, I need to define it for the select object. I set the value to 0 0.75. I am saving the code file. I make selections in the name, surname, gender, and country objects. The application works as I want. Finally, I want the entered values to be displayed on the screen when the button is pressed. To do this, I define a function with the onClick property. The function will be called when the button is pressed. I define the function. I will create a label object. The values entered in the input, radio, and select objects in the label object will be displayed sequentially. I can use the value function to access the values entered into objects. I do the same process for all objects one by one. I am saving the code file. As values are entered into the input, check box and select objects, the slider and linear progress object increases. When the button is pressed, the entered data is displayed in the label object. In this video, we learned how to use the linear progress object. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.